morning students welcome to english class uh this is for class 7 today we are going to discuss unit 2 lesson 2 around the world in 80 days it is written by the famous playwright jules verne and uh, actually uh, he was uh, uh, from uh, france but at the same time he has written many stories and uh, they are just uh, written uh, in french as well as in english and uh, basically uh, he was from france and uh, later on he settled back in england and uh, started to write uh, plays in english so most of his plays are written in english itself today we are going to discuss uh, scene 1 of this particular play and uh, let's uh, get uh, an idea about the major characters in scene 1 so there are three major characters uh, in scene 1 there is one narrator and uh, mr fields for he is an english gentleman who is uh, living in savile row in london and uh, then he is uh, dizon pasquedor that is uh, a french maid again dizon pasquedor he is a newly appointed servant so let's go with the scene one so it is dated the scene one starts with the date of 2nd october 1872 as a wednesday okay so the background of the story is in zoyle row in london and uh, a warm atmosphere is there a big uh, mansion uh, interior is the, on the stage and there sits a man uh, who is described further by the narrator about his habits so from his uh, narration we come to know that mr fall feels fall is a man of regular habits and he doesn't want to change uh, his habits at all and every day he visits a particular club named as reform club and uh, he is further clearly describe his nature uh, as a man who live by cloak so that means he doesn't want to change a single minute uh, and uh, he doesn't uh, want to change uh, any of his habits not even by a minute so here we can see that uh, the when the scene starts it is uh, started with an interview uh, a new person uh, a boy comes over there his name is john pas uh, pasquito and he comes over there and uh, by the time mr fields for enters that whether he came for the interview he says yes for the same and proceed and uh, then he says that uh, i am a person who lives uh, according to uh, uh, certain habits and uh, i just don't want to change any of my habits uh, even by a minute so that's why if you would accordingly you can just continue over here and by the time the narrator gives an idea to us about the character exact nature of uh, uh, mr uh, fields for and uh, who uh, dismiss his old servant for a reason that is also from the description we come to know what is the uh, cause because this uh, old servant who brought water for shaving to fields for two degree colder than the man that means even for two degree or a minute he is not able to just adjust so this is exactly the condition nature of mr fields for and uh, he narrates his uh, basic habits to the newly appointed servant and by the time uh, he we can see that the interview starts at 26 minutes past uh, level uh, that is morning time and uh, he says that uh, he gets up at 8 uh, o'clock and uh, 23 minutes past 8 he should get his tea and toast so there is no change so that uh, we can see that uh, we may feel a bit odd but uh, when we come to know the second scene as well as the third scene we will uh, get a clear idea about mr fields work there we can see that uh, it, it is uh, clearly described that he is a man uh, lives by uh, even uh, what i can say lives by law even a minute cannot be changed in uh, his daily routines then again we can see that uh, uh, 26 minutes to 
morning he has to get water for shaving at 80 degree Fahrenheit and again the next one we can see that uh, 20 minutes to 10 he will go for bath and by the time his dust should be ready and uh, he will dress then and uh, by half past uh, 11 he would leave for the club so before he leaves club by 11.26 that is 26 minutes past 11 he appoints the new servant is on past the door and asks him to go to the kitchen and uh, collect the rest of the rules and regulations which are already kept over there in the kitchen and then he goes to uh, club and uh, reaching club the rest of the things are described by the narrator once again and uh, we can see that 13 minutes to uh, 1 he would take his lunch on his regular table and uh, at his uh, sorry by the regular uh, uh, servant so there also the assistant table assistant is there the same table assistant should be there and the same table is there so he would not change and the same chair so it's always booked for Mr. Phil's home so he would reach there by uh, 12 of uh, sorry that uh, by uh, 13 to 12 so 13 to 1 he would have his lunch as soon as the lunch is over his next time is up to uh, that at 20 to 6 that is uh, up to 5 for day 20 to 6 he would go with uh, reading newspaper so it is his regular habit so after reading newspaper by 6 to sorry 20 to 6 he would take his dinner so after uh, that he would go to the card room and he would wait there for his friends so and uh, by uh, 10 past 6 uh, 6 10 his uh, friends would come and they start playing card and uh, uh, then by 12 o'clock he would come back but that means up to 12 midnight he would be playing cards over there and uh, uh, after that uh, by midnight he would come back to home but on that particular day the day is to be remembered 2nd October 1872 Wednesday in the city something different thing has happened so the friends who came there to play with him discuss uh, news it was uh, 55 pounds of uh, 55 pounds was robbed from a bank and the robber looked like an Englishman similar to or looked like it's the Phil's form so here the things had a change and uh, his routine had been changed and his uh, uh, the whole habits and the regularity of his habits and going to reform club everything has overturned Let's continue with the second uh, scene. When the second scene starts, it is the card room of Reform Club is revealed in front of us. There are uh, the friends of Mr. Poe and the steward, John Sullivan, then Samuel Follington and Bertie Ruff, along with Mr. Poe. They are playing cards, while playing cards. They are talking about the robbery that happened in the London Bank. So a man, an, an English gentleman, or a man who looked like an English gentleman stole 55,000 pounds from the bank and uh, left England. So now Mr. Stewart says that a person uh, who would be traveling from England uh, would have covered the long distance uh, from England because a man can cover at least uh, the entire world very faster. Now all of a sudden Mr. Fox says that then he, that one would cover the world in 80 days. Then all of a sudden Mr. Uh, Stewart claims that if Mr. Fogg would do like that, then he would bet for 2,000 uh, pounds. Then Mr. Fogg received the same bet and uh, he took it as a challenge and he reverted back that he is ready to uh, go for not 2,000, but 20,000 pounds. Again, is the bet of Mr. Stewart. And then, 
all of a sudden he had taken the decision and uh, he wrote on his uh, checklist and uh, had produced and if he would not be coming back by 21st December that means today it is 2nd October 1872 8.45 p.m. that means 15 to 9 p.m. and uh, if he would not be coming back by 52 9 that is quarter to 9 by 21st December 1872 this 20,000 dollars can be distributed among these four friends so after bedding with this uh, people with his friends he left the home and he goes to Dover to catch the train by 8.45 now it is 7.40 then he has to catch the train by quarter to nine. So then he, as soon as he reaches home, he asks Pazulo to prepare his luggage and both of them leave for uh, Paris. And uh, that's what is the end of the second scene. When the third scene starts, it is shown with uh, Mr. Fix. He is a detective who is following uh, Mr. Phil's fault, thinking that he would be the person who robbed the bank because Mr. Phil's fault was also uh, looking like the same description that was given about the robber. So, so that's why Mr. Phil's is following Mr. Fogg and uh, by the time Mr. Phil's follows uh, uh, Fogg to India. So when uh, steamer started to India, to Mumbai, sorry, Bombay by the time, uh, Mr. Fix also, along with Phil Swap, got into the steamer and uh, he is waiting. Actually, uh, Mr. Fix is waiting Mr. Phil Swap to come back to London. When he comes back to London, he could arrest him. So that's why he decided to follow uh, Mr. Phil Swap. And uh, they went to uh, in, uh, India. Uh, Mumbai, sorry Bombay and uh, from there he travelled uh, through India and uh, finally reaches Alhaba uh, at uh, a place uh, at present uh, it is located in UP. So there he met uh, with uh, a beautiful lady named Oda. So actually she was about to perform Sadi because her husband uh, uh, died and uh, asked the ritual uh, she was about to jump into the uh, pile and uh, die with his, uh, sorry, to be bound alive with his, uh, with her husband. So, but uh, at the same time, Mr. Fogg rescued her and she also decided to join with Mr. Fogg. So, their journey continues and uh, they come back to Liverpool, uh, England by 11.40 uh, a.m. That is, 20 minutes to 12 by the time he thought that it was 21st December but actually it was 20th December because he could gain one day as he travelled through the eastern direction so when one would be moving from one time zone to another we can see that there will be a 4 minutes gain comes if it is travel to eastern direction but if it is to west 4 minutes less would be there. So since it is 360 degree, then 360 into 4 minutes, that means 24 hours, that is uh, equal to 1 day, that is 1 day they got advanced. They thought that it was uh, 20th, uh, uh, sorry, 21st uh, December, but actually it was 20th, uh, 20th uh, December 1872. Reaching England, all of a sudden he was arrested by Mr. Fix. He pleaded that he did not uh, steal anything, he is uh, not the robber, but he could not prove for the first time. But later on, he was uh, proved uh, not guilty and he was, uh, Mr. Fitzgerald was released. But at the same time, he started to think that uh, nothing is left with him. All his fortunes and uh, all his uh, money and savings, all this had been uh, given to his friends. But actually, it was not so. Then. Uh, Jean, uh, sorry, Nizam Pazudo, his uh, servant, said that he found that it was not 20th, uh, sorry, it was not uh, 21st, 
they reached on 20th December. So the present day, the next day when he was released, it is 21st uh, December. But one trouble is there, only 10 minutes to go to uh, reform work. So it is really difficult, but they tried their levels. They decided to try their levels to reach to reform club before 8.45. That means before uh, quarter to 9, they have to reach over there. So now when the scenes are four stars, it is uh, 8.20, that is 8 past 20 minutes. And uh, the reform club is uh, well gathered by uh, uh, its uh, usual customers. And uh, again, we can see that the friends of uh, Mr. Four, they are just uh, standing around the clock and watching the time. So they are just counting minute by minute. And finally, uh, they thought that uh, they have already won. So because only three seconds to win. Then they heard a knock at the door and it was Mr. Four. So as he came on time, he could manage uh, his word would be reaching in 80 days. So, but actually he had completed uh, uh, covering that uh, the tour around the world within 79 days itself. But uh, finally, when he reached over there, he could cover his word and uh, he did not lose his money too. So, this is the end of the play. Thank you for watching. Stay at home, stay healthy. Thank you.